welcome or welcome back to Maya's Glow. I hope you're all having an amazing week. And if you're new here, thank you for coming over to this space. I'm so glad that you're watching. So in today's video, I'll be taking you through my summer beauty essentials. So these are the items I feel like I need whenever the weather gets hot. It's January and it tends to get a bit warmer. Though this year the weather has been a bit strange, so it's been a bit cooler than usual. But there have been some days where it gets pretty hot and I do believe in a few months to come that the weather might actually change and get warmer so i thought i'd just take you through my summer beauty must-haves I am so big on hydration and making sure my skin is well hydrated especially when it gets super hot and you know that feeling of being sweaty and sticky especially when you're spending the day outdoors that's why I'm really into floral waters I love floral waters and I have the Obao's geranium water for face and body and I have Josie Essentials premium rose water which is like my favorite um, if you've watched my previous videos I've raved about this product for quite a while now <laughs> and it's with good reason I just like um, having my face feeling nice and moisturized especially when it's super hot and that's why I love using floral waters and they're also natural as well so it's good for the skin it's organic and another thing I like doing is actually using floral waters to mist my face after doing my makeup so if also you've watched my previous videos you know that i like using either my rose water or my geranium water to actually mist my face once i'm done um, doing my makeup it just helps to merge all the products on my face together so do check out um, any floral waters that you may be wanting to try whether it's rose water geranium water i know there's lavender water as well um, but it really really just helps you stay hydrated and moisturized and it's also really nice to use after keeping it in the fridge for a while so that's a trick i normally do i put it in the fridge so that whenever i come back home after a long hot day i just spray my face or after i've taken a shower and i want to use it as a toner i just spritz my face and it has such a nice cooling effect i also decant my rose water into a small spray bottle and i put it in my purse and if i've gone for a hike or i've just gone for any outdoorsy kind of activities or if i'm running errands and i'll be all over the city throughout the day and it's super hot i can just mist my face in between the day and it's super super refreshing so my floral waters are a must sunscreen is a must for me all day every day and this particular one is actually from miniso and it has an aqua formula with an spf of 28 which is good enough for me i try to aim for an spf above um, between 15 and 30 which works well for me and I'm so glad to have gotten this from Miniso they do have a range of different types of sunscreens and they've really come through because before the sunscreens that you'd get in the market is sunscreens even a word <laughs> or the sunscreen lotions that you'd get in the market were going for so much like between to buy a decent sunscreen you'd have to spend at least a minimum of 1800 kenya shillings so 1800 and above um, which can be a bit costly especially for an item you tend to use every day and might run out pretty fast so i'm so glad to have gotten this from miniso for below 700 shillings it was about 640 shillings if i'm not wrong and it works really well for me i have not broken out from it and it's pretty lightweight it does have a bit of a tint to it like after i apply it it can look slightly ghostly but once i rub it in it actually settles into my skin well and it's not all out purple on my face so that's why i really like it and of course the affordability but yes yeah, sunscreen has to be in my skincare routine aloe vera gel is my next summer must have i love how cooling and soothing it is to the skin it's amazing to use whenever i've come home after a long hot day especially if i've been out in the sun and i use it all over my face after i've cleansed and toned my skin and it's super super soothing and cooling i mostly use it in the morning as an eye gel but when it gets really hot 
I like to use it all over my face in the evening. It also has great anti-inflammatory properties. I actually used it once after I got a bee sting <laughs> and it worked really well. It helped soothe like the throb of the bee sting and it actually healed. So that's when I was like, wow, okay, this stuff really works properly. <laughs> So if you need something to help cool your skin, especially if you have dry skin and you need something to really hydrate your skin, then try out aloe vera gel. If you have oily skin, you know that a primer is a must have. <laughs> whether it's hot, whether it's cold, like it's just necessary in your makeup kit, especially when it's super hot and the makeup just tends to slide all over also if you have normal skin um, you definitely want to make sure that you prime your skin it just helps make your makeup last longer throughout the day and if you have oily skin some primers are great at mattifying your skin so that your skin gets less oily and that means less sliding off of your makeup especially if you're like out and about in the sun and i really like maybelline's pore minimizing primer it really helps to mattify my face and also reduce or minimize the appearance of my pores so my foundation glides on and looks flawless in the end so i definitely have to have a primer in my kit in this weather the final item is a body care item and it's deodorant deodorant I'm not sure how to say it <laughs> but Dio um, I just feel like it helps me stay fresh during the day I prefer to use Dio over antiperspirant because I don't sweat that much the Dio helps me stay fresh throughout the day and I like this particular one it has an interesting scent it's not very overpowering though it does have a bit of a scent um, and it works well for me it's really nice and soothing i think it's because of the canned bottle that it's in but it feels really really nice whenever i use it and i also like the size if you're carrying a big bag around you can actually just put this in your bag and use it whenever you need to when you're on the go so this is something else i always make sure that i have with me whenever it gets super hot so those are my five summer beauty essentials. I would love to know what your beauty must-haves are whenever the weather gets warmer. So do share with me in the comments down below. And the final thing I had to mention is water, drinking lots of water, just making sure I'm hydrated throughout the day. Dehydration is a no-no for my body and my beauty needs. So I always make sure that I'm drinking enough water, either when I'm outside of the house or when I'm in the house. And I actually bought a water bottle just so that it keeps me accountable and i have no reasons for not drinking my water thank you for all the support i have received so far if you like this video please do give it a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed already join the family join the glow gang so that you don't miss out on any of my future content also be sure to press on the notification bell so that you're notified every time i upload a new video thank you so much to everyone who's been watching i hope you're having an amazing week and i can't wait to see you in my next video